In this next lesson, we're going to take a look at the uh, purchase price list uh, functionality within X3. Uh, this can be a very uh, useful tool uh, for organizations who have uh, suppliers or vendors uh, for which they have set uh, contractual prices uh, for their uh, raw materials. So what we're going to look at is if we come under our purchasing menu, then under price list, we can come to this option here for price list entry. At this entry transaction screen, you're going to see that there's many different um, transaction types from which we're going to choose. Um, the one that we're going to use for this exercise is this T20 um, pricing parameter. Uh, this is appropriate uh, in cases where you have a um, specific product prices for a given, you know, from a given supplier. Um, you can also see here that you can set up special price books uh, for your intercompany trans, uh, transactions. Um, you can set them up based upon statistical groups. You can set up uh, discount schedules all within um, the price list functionality. So here we're going to get, click on our T20. Then uh, we're going to come up here and click on our new button. We're going to go ahead and specify a validity date range over which these prices are good. Down here in our supplier field, we'll go ahead and choose a vendor. In the adjacent product field, we'll go ahead and choose a raw material. You have a currency specification. There's your purchasing unit of measure. Um, some price books allow you to sign a minimum and maximum quantity. Uh, this would be a per you could leverage this in cases where um, if a vendor grants you a discount if you purchase upwards of a certain quantity. Next here you can come to specify your lead time here in days. Here's where the unit price is specified. Depending upon your price books, you can have additional discount elements or additional um, adders to the price. But those are the core elements of it here. So you could specify in your price book, um, you know, prices for a given supplier for many different products. Once you have your price list loaded, you can come over here and click on the Create button, and that will assign it a price list record. In terms of some of the reporting capabilities, if you come over and click on your uh, printer icon, then come to your list option. Uh, two reports that I would draw your attention to is the first report here, our purchase pricing conditions based upon our first variable being the supplier ID, then purchase price conditions um, with the primary sort being on the second condition, which is the product. So when you go ahead and run these reports, here's the first report. So again, this is giving you the pricing data with your primary sort being by the supplier first. Then here's all the products that we have set up for the supplier. The second report down here is, uh, again, using the product as the primary sort. Then we have each supplier from whom that you can buy the goods. The next thing that we're going to want to take a look at here is with respect to um, the purchase price uh, search function. So if you want to look up a given price, you can come over here and click on our price search. Come in and specify your product that you want to inquire upon. Let's 
specify the supplier, the purchasing site, and we can come over and click on the price inquiry. Then this utility down here will go ahead and reflect for you what the relative list price is. Another thing that could be handy uh, once these price lists are set up is you, you're going to have visibility uh, to the price list from your product files as well as your supplier files. So if you come up to your common data menu, then come under our products section, then into products. We can go ahead and, uh, for a product that we set up, over on the right hand side, click on this purchase price button. Then this in part will show you all the different uh, price codes that you have established for the product. We can come over here and click on the price detail button. Then that will pull up the particulars for you, um, giving you the supplier details, the validity date range lead time and the pricing information. In a likewise manner, if I end out of the products and go over to my supplier master files, so again this is under common data, business partners, then in here to suppliers. pull up our supplier file, then once again we come over and click on our purchase price button. We have our listing of our price codes, then again we can click on the price detail, then that will give you the price list, or you know, the respective price list for each product that we've established for the supplier. The final thing that I'll show you uh, relative to the purchase prices is um, some pricing visibility that you have when you're uh, on your purchase orders. So if I come under my purchasing menu again, then I'm going to go to orders, then orders. And what you'll see here is for our purchase orders that are loaded in, if I click on the action button on the line, um, I'll have an option here for this price explanation. And in here it'll tell me the gross price, if there's any adders or discounts to be had, then what their respective net price is. Um, then over here also it'll give you your pricing reason, meaning um, is it coming just from a standard uh, T20 uh, supplier product list or is there a special discount schedule that's also at play. So those are all the primary features that we have with respect to the purchase uh, price uh, listings within X3.